Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. The month of December is now upon us. Um, not really sure where the year went, uh, but the end of 2022 is coming. So with the end of the year approaching, I've decided to make a video here going over my goals for the rest of the year. This is basically just a monthly goal video, but I'm kind of glossing it up, I guess, for the end of the year. For those that haven't seen my channel before, what I tend to do is I tend to make a series of short goals every few months. Um, these tend to range from goals that take place over the course of four weeks to six weeks to eight weeks um, to potentially even three months. And so what I do is I lay them out here on the channel and hopefully we try, we try and check these things off. Um, I tend to find that short goals tend to work better than longer ones. Um, so I give myself a ton to do in a very short window. And if I can get maybe half of it done, I, I consider it a win. With this being the end of the year though, I've decided to give myself just one month to get everything on this list done. Um, will I do it? Probably not, but it, it's a good stretch goal and I think I'll get more done long term if I approach it this way. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna lay out my goals and we'll just kind of go through them one by one. All right, so let's get into it. Goal number one. Read three dark academia books. What's a dark academia book, I hear you saying? Basically, it's just a series of books that take place um, in some sort of either, you know, usually like a prep school, like either a prep, you know, high school or prep college um, setting and something happens, usually a murder or some sort of mystery. Uh, reason why I'm doing this is simply um, for research for my next project, potentially. I know it's super vague, but I got to kind of keep this project a bit of a secret for the moment. Goal number two, read three relevant books. Relevant books are basically just books that tend to be relevant to the style that I'm going to be writing in. I've spoken before about the idea of content and structure. Um, this would be books that mimic a certain structure that I want my next project to look like. Um, as, as for example, basically, if I write a story that's perhaps a series of interrelated short stories, wink, wink, I might want to read books that are written in a similar style, it's a similar series of books that are based in a series of short stories that are interrelated or have a common theme. Just as an example, not hinting at anything, kind of. So what this is going to be is basically just a series of three books that are relevant to the genre that I am going to be writing in and with a similar style. Um, I'll post more about those books once I actually figure out what they're going to be. <laughs> Goal number three, send off three queries for each of my novels. I've spoken kind of ad nauseum on this channel about both my novels there. Um, and so with this, I've already sent off queries for both during the month of November. And now I am planning on sending off three more for each novel during the month of December. Uh, I can't say as to how long I'm going to necessarily wait in the month to do it. Uh, to send it off at the beginning of the month obviously would be a bit, I think a bit counterintuitive just because it's only been a few weeks. So this will probably happen towards the end of the year. But I've spoken before about wanting to do a slow rollout. I want to do kind of a slow set of queries uh, initially just to see if I'm getting any kind of responses at all. Um, and then I'll reevaluate on the process. So I think this month I'm going to send off just three queries for each story. Goal number four. I got to set up a Twitch account. This isn't particularly writing relevant, um, but for my channel, I've noticed that, I guess somewhat ironically, uh, my chess channel on here, my chess videos tend to get a bit more viewers than say my writing related videos. Obviously being able to read the room and read an audience, I've decided that I'm gonna probably start streaming uh, my chess games on Twitch now and then uploading them to my YouTube channel. Just a way to get basically extra followers in a sense. Um, so I gotta set that up and I gotta figure out how I do that. Which, by the way, shameless plug, I do post my chess videos once a week on here, usually on Saturdays. All right, goal number five. This one is also not writing related at all. It's simply printing up um, some business cards for my day job. Just something that has to get done. And again, I, I, I'm throwing all my goals on, on this whole sheet here. Goal number six. This is going to be an interesting one. Uh, I've titled the goal 
put first pages on YouTube. What does that mean? Well, basically what it means is I'm planning on throwing up the first few chapters of both of my novels onto a blog and then linking it to my YouTube page. Um, I've done some little bit of research on that. It's not going to harm me as far as querying or anything like that. But I figure just in the off chance I ever end up catching maybe an agent or someone maybe passes by my channel, happens to, um, you know, see it and is like, oh, you know, what does this person write or, or what's what story is this person trying to query? Well, I'll, I'll have basically a link in the description basically to both you know, the first chapters in case they ever want to get in contact with me. I don't know how how viable that is, but it's an idea that came to me and I'm going to go with it. Goal number seven, get a 1300 powerlifting total. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> but seguramente, um, I've got a power to meet coming up here in about two weeks, and my goal for the meet is to hit a 1300. Um, it'll be obviously be a personal record combination there if I can do it, um, and I'm going to end up vlogging my, my whole day there, so I'll throw it up on the channel um, after the meet's over. Goal number eight, archive every old project. All right, I have a ton of old projects that are sitting on my computer. Um, I've spoken before about my old short stories, um, in addition to old novels that um, I simply trunked, um, and I've got to get it off my computer. I've got tons and tons of files and folders and mountains of projects, uh, and they just they simply need to go. Uh, so going to spend at some point this month just getting everything transferred over onto a, a couple different external um, hard drives basically and just going to go save it there. Um, I've considered maybe printing them off. Uh, it would be a ton of paper. Um, that's occurred to me as well, but I think the safe thing will be just to basically just save them to a bunch of external hard drives and we'll be fine. Goal number nine. In keeping with the same idea of getting rid of things, cleaning things up, I've got to clean up my office. Um, as you can kind of see here, I mean, my office is basically an attic and it's a spare room, like the storage room. So the degree to which I can ever get this thing completely clean is is not going to happen. But I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm looking around this this place and yeah, it's, it's got to be cleaned up again. <laughs> I feel like I feel like every six months I make this the goal. I do it, and then it just ends up getting cluttered again. So, um, yeah, got to clean this thing out. Goal number ten: create a new writing lesson thumbnail. I've mentioned this before, um, but I'm trying to make these writing lessons a bit different now, um, both in the way I'm shooting these videos, as you can tell by this one, um, in addition to the thumbnails as well. I want to make them a bit more distinct from just my everyday writing vlog that I've been doing, um, and so. Basically, what what I plan on doing with that is um, just creating a new thumbnail, um, just something that's gonna be a bit, bit different, um, something that's a bit more, just a, you know, just a bit maybe a bit more eye catching, something that's, something that just makes it a bit more distinct um, than just me with a bunch of um, like comic strip style um, editing put to it. Goal number eleven: send off short stories. This is a bit of a very vague one, but I've talked about how I'm querying off old short stories. And this is simply a goal just to send more off. I don't have a specific number of short stories or how many I'm going to, how many lit mags I'm going to query per story or how many I'm going to send off. It's very, very vague. Basically, as long as I'm taking some sort of action and sending them off, I'll be happy. It's not a big thing for me um, necessarily to get these things all out there at once. Um, so as long as I'm just staying active and doing it, I consider that a, a win. Goal number 12 is very simply buying a new video editing software. To be honest, if you're watching this video, I've probably already purchased it. I found that with my old video editing software, it didn't work very well when I had to do things that cut up the video, like I had to make edits and cuts like I am with this series. Um, and so basically I need to find something else that makes it a bit more convenient um, to do that and also still convert over to HD and, and all that stuff. I've spoken before, I'm not very technologically like savvy, so Finding something that's a bit more convenient, something I can use to edit this, you know, edit these videos, makes it way, way easier. Um, so that is going to be my, I guess, my next goal. But again, it's probably already happened. Goal number thirteen is to set up my twenty twenty three goals. I've spoken before about how I tend to do these goal series in terms of short windows, so one month, two month, three month windows, right? Well, I also do have bigger overarching goals for the entire year. 
Um, these tend to be ones where I, I will have just some very, very broad thing that wants to get done, right? Um, this past year, I had um, writing every day as one of the goals. Um, it wasn't admittedly created until after I started this channel, but it became my, my goal as I went along, um, as well as getting, you know, getting my that novel finished and all that. So I do have overarching kind of broader goals, and these ones just kind of comprise that. So I need to set up for this year basically what I want 2023 to look like. Um, I may actually end up doing a video showing how I come up with like the broad overall yearly goals, um, but that's basically um, what this is going to be. It's it's redundant and it's kind of dumb. Like it's it's very bureaucratic. It's like create a goal to set up the goal for next year, right? It's 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 very very redundant. It's, it's this sort of thing you'd see like in a corporate like office. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Have a meet, you know, have like a meeting to, about the meeting and all that. Um, but yeah, as I do have to set up my goals for next year, and this is going to be it. And lastly, goal number 14. This last one is a bit more vague as well, um, but it is the big one. This is, this is the main one really for the month. I'm putting it at the end just because uh, building suspense for my channel, I guess. I don't know. Um, but what the goal is, is, is simply this decide on my next project and begin to outline it. Um, I've talked before about this, this period of time between projects where you need to absorb it, take it in, make sure you really are doing something that you want to do. I feel like I'm at the place now where I know what I want to do. Um, I, it didn't take me nearly as long as I thought it was going to, um, in part because it really came down to two projects. And at this point, I've kind of gone back and forth and I'm a about ready just to commit to one. It's become clear um, which one I need to do. It was kind of clear probably right from the very beginning. But I had to take my time, make sure I wanted to do it. Um, but I think for the next at least a year, two, maybe three years, I know what I want to do for this channel um, as far as a project. And yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this will work out. So I need to finally make my decision on that and begin at least the early stages of the outlining process for this project. Well, that's it. So I appreciate you all watching this video. If you stuck with me to the very end, went through all these goals, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, 14 goals is a lot. Uh, it's something where I am have a bit of an uphill battle for sure to get this done, but it's definitely doable. Um, admittedly, I've already got a jump start on some of the stuff too. I mentioned obviously the video editing software. Um, I've mentioned the um, kind of reading some of those books there. I might have already started to read a few of them if you've been checking my Goodreads. Uh, um, but yeah, it's still going to be a lot to do. Um, some of them are very, very simple goals though. So hopefully it won't be too much of a challenge. But yeah. This is going to be my month of December. This is what the end of the year is going to look like. Um, and with the holidays and all that stuff coming up next month, hopefully I can get it done. Hopefully. It'll be a fight, but uh, hoping to get it done. I thank you all for watching this channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will see you all tomorrow.